Hi, Namaste. Assalamualaikum. Name me Azad Confusion Master. So I am back with a new video which is related to Infosys. And currently I am in Infosys Mysore campus. And maybe this is my last week over here. And uh, without any further delay, let us go into the topic that is generic. Yeah, people, generic. If you are about to join Infosys as a trainee, or if you have gone through the training process of Infosys. then this word generic is very commonly heard for some people it might be a nightmare and for some people it might be a daydream whatever it might be i am here to share the entire information regarding generic or fa1 exam so please do watch the video till end and if you are new to my channel then please do subscribe so with loaded dedication chalo aaj ka video shuru karte hain so many people do ask me in the comment section like bro i have got the selection mail from infosys and i am waiting for the offer letter in this situation the offer letter uh, will take around 2 to 3 months for sure so and first of all congratulations bro and welcome to the infosys family and the second thing is uh, in this time gap uh, between your selection mail and the offer letter mail uh, in this time gap do we need to go through any content or topics which will help us in clearing the generic fa1 exam for sure bro the content or the topic uh, involved in generic fa1 exam is java and dbms so dbms means database management system and the uh, fa1 exam uh, you will uh, you need to go through the test like uh, java hands on the first thing java hands on you need to write a certain code uh, and in and the second thing is dbms hands on you need to write around four queries in dbms and the third thing is combined java and dbms objective questions it will be like 25 to 27 bits will be given to you uh, related to the topics of java and dbms so collectively with this three exams uh, you need to score above 50% that is the first criteria if you fail to score above 50% your generic fa1 status will be like not qualified and if you scored above 50% and less than 65% about the second criteria i am saying above 55 50% and less than 65% your status will be like qualified but you do have a chance to retest to give a retest uh, again giving generic exam what happens in this retest maybe this time your score might reach about 70 that is about 65 it might be a 70 80 or 90 who knows uh, it is a second chance for you to uh, gain a better score right so coming to the java syllabus please note it down or uh, listen it carefully uh, java is divided as programming using java part 1 and programming using java part 2 and your programming using java part 1 whether it is uh, connected in offline or online mode it will take around uh, for part 1 it will take around uh, 60 or 70 and the syllabus are introduction to java keywords variables identifiers and data types operators type conversion if switch iterate control structure introduction to object oriented program so object oriented oop concept is truly truly important macha and the second thing is classes objects methods constructors this keyword memory management encapsulation abstract axis modifiers class diagram array string and its method and debugging debugging is uh, uh, you will not go uh, it is not so important it is truly important in production side but uh, for currently for your fa1 exam debugging is not so important uh, uh, programming using java part 2 syllabus static aggregation association inheritance super static polymorphism dynamic polymorphism wrapper classes object class final keyword abstract interface packages exception that's it people so with these uh, it will take for programming using java part 1 and for programming using java part 2 it will be like around 20 days on 21st day after completing the topics of java of part 1 and part 2 on 21st day a mock test and a, it will be like a practice day on from morning uh, from morning uh, around 9:15 to till uh, 12 o'clock you will be practicing you will be asking doubts with your educator and co-educator and in afternoon section they will conduct one mock and and do remember this mock test does not carry any marks it is for your uh, what we say how the 
exam main exam will be conducted in which uh, which environment with in which exam environment it will be conducted and what are the rules and uh, how a question paper is designed for you and uh, to just uh, verify that are you able to uh, solve that question paper or not so so coming to the second most important topic in uh, generic fa1 exam is uh, database management system so you yourself will say when you experience a database management system yourself you will say that it is truly a scoring subject and coming to the syllabus of uh, dbms uh, it will and the duration it will be like around uh, 6 days max 6 days and coming to the syllabus it is introduction to database management system and basic sql commands and uh, ddl uh, data definition language statements and uh, dml data manipulation language statements and uh, functions in uh, dbms group by having inner join self join independent subquery so these are the topics which will be covered in database management system and uh, upon the last day that is maybe your seventh day or uh, like your practice day in morning section in afternoon section they will conduct a mock exam similar to java as i earlier said that this mock exam is just for your understanding the difficulty level of each and every question and about how to submit a question etc and this mock do not contain any weightage uh, in your which it, it does not uh, uh, show any sort of effect in your final uh, generic fa1 exam score and uh, i duly suggest that truly utilize the mock test uh, and try to understand the question and its uh, structure and the difficulty level and how to submit it especially how to submit the question and uh, within the time limit uh, and it will be like around 1 hour 15 minutes for java hands on and 1 hour 15 minutes for uh, dbms and 1 hour 30 minutes or 1 hour 45 minutes for collective objective of java, java and dbms and coming to the marks about the marks uh, it will be like for java hands on it will be 35 marks and for dbms hands on it will be 25 marks and collectively java and dbms objective questions uh, for the test it will be like 40 marks and overall upon, i have said the criteria right criteria right for qualification upon so people the next thing is uh, you are familiar with the course uh, syllabus right so the next thing is where to learn the course so infosys uh, do provide its own learning platform especially for the trainees and the employees of infosys uh, that is lex l e x lex so content information in the format of, format of notes is provided to you in the format of documents in the format of different different video lectures simply you can understand by going through the content of the lex and uh, for each and every topic uh, under each and every topic a plenty of what we say exercises and quizzes are given to you which you need to solve and this will literally help you in uh, knowing the topic uh, getting deeper into the topic and understanding uh, the steps involved in solving different quizzes and exercises and you can seek help from your educators and trainers if you do face any sort of difficulty and uh, how to access the lex portal as i earlier said that it is only accessible by the trainees and the what we say employees of infosys only and how to access simply you can uh, log into the infosys lex portal and this portal is available in the format of apps so you can simply log in using your mobile app at the same time on upon the desktop in website you, you can simply log into the lex portal so the credentials required are your infosys uh, generated uh, user id and password so using these two credentials you can simply log into the infosys lex portal at any time and, and access all the courses but coming to the generic topics uh, so, so the course name uh, related to the generic topic coming to java it is programming using java you can simply search programming using java upon the search bar of lex portal and for dbms it is a uh, uh, database management system part 1 and database management system part 2 so, so these are the two courses uh, related to dbms topic you can simply search in the search bar uh, these course name and the course will be uh, upon your screen and uh, parallelly so you have a part you have lex the best learning platform provided by infosys at the same time a set of trained uh, educators from eta department also will be allocated to you trainees who will teach you from scratch to the beginning the entire uh, course uh, which is uh, provided in the lex portal and beginning of the video i have uh, explained you about the syllabus of each and every topic like java and dbms right so you have the syllabus in your hand and so many other sources now if you have credentials then lex is the best platform currently if you do not have any credentials to log into the lex then wait to learn 
so you have plenty of uh, other sources especially google chrome and during my training process uh, parallelly i used to go through lex daily lectures uh, classes and uh, if i do have any further doubt then i used to visit uh, uh, java especially geeks for geek and java t point these are the two websites which i used to visit the most the thing in this is uh, they don't simply go through the entire uh, content involved in those uh, other websites because they do provide more and more information which is not required uh, to your exams especially i do mean it and the uh, next thing is uh, coming uh, coming to dbms man uh, i i, ha I haven't learned a from any other websites or any other sources simply the moment i started my training uh, my educator taught me very well uh, it is a 6 days training and for dbms and it was so good and especially the content in the lex is so so user friendly and uh, so understandable so uh, that is sufficient for dbms coming to uh, lectures uh, there are plenty of uh, lectures available uh, for java and dbms in youtube especially i used to visit like uh, if you are okay with a little hindi uh, hindi language is a little okay for you then i do suggest you people to visit uh, code with harry youtube channel I, and i do provide the, his youtube link in my description what is it and especially about his playlist of java he for each and every topic he explains very what we say in a uh, very uh, understandable manner so uh, i do provide his playlist uh, link youtube link in my description you can simply go and check it out and under his each and every uh, topic uh, lecture youtube lecture uh, he do provide a uh, document of his what we say hand written notes so you can simply access it it is free for sure and these are the out other sources i used to platform uh, so the next thing is uh, you after knowing about the contents you should be familiar with the working of the code so so you for java you need to perform all these tasks so what is the workspace for java and what is the workspace for dbms for coming coming to the workspace for java it is eclipse java workspace it is a open source uh, it you can simply download it in your personal laptop or you can simply download it in your uh, what you say company lab, company provided laptop uh, so for java it is the java eclipse workspace you should know how to download it how to run it means how to create a new java project how to create a package in that how to create a class in that and uh, how to run the program after uh, writing something so these are the things you need to be familiar with and this will be entirely taught to you during your training process uh, but if you want to know it earlier there are n number of uh, what we say youtube lectures related to how to work on java eclipse workspace i do just provide one of the link uh, in the description uh, they will explain how to download how to run a program a java program in java eclipse workspace that is the workspace related to java and coming to dbms uh, uh, i haven't downloaded any sort of uh, sql i simply log into the lex portal infosys do provide pro provide its own uh, what we say workspace for dbms uh, there will be like a dbms playground uh, in the course itself you can simply go there and uh, run your uh, queries over there and you can uh, practice over there that is a workspace related to dbms no need to download any other uh, what we say uh, my sql related or oracle related uh, applications or uh, softwares in your laptop and uh, these are the two workspace i do mean it and people the last and final uh, uh, thing is about the assignments and uh, self assessment quizzes under each and every topic and about the final fa generic hands on and dbms hands on and coming to the assignments quiz or uh, self assessment uh, no one going to ask you that how many assignments or daily assignments or quizzes you have you are completing day by day uh, just your bo daily he informs he or she informs you about completing the task upon day by day but do remember that this uh, completing assignments or uh, self assessment uh, does not uh, reflect your marks uh, increase of marks it uh, in your final fa it is completely depends upon your performance in the final fa the marks will reflect like that uh, but what literally uh, mean of completing the assignments or uh, quizzes uh, day by day uh, for each and every topic uh, because in front end of the lex portal uh, you can just uh, witness the course you have selected the percentage of course uh, that you are completing for the selected time and uh, that's it you can witness but back end your bo can witness like how much time you are spending in the lex portal upon the upon a specific course that is allocated to you and how what percentage of uh, assignments you have completed and how many quizzes you have attended how many exercises you have completed like that the entire 
with a great algorithm the entire graph will be witnessed by your bo in the back end that you cannot and uh, this might reflect your performance uh, during allocation to a project it, it might be i i do feel that it might reflect uh, your manager can uh, take a reference uh, like take a reference of your legs performance uh, uh before allocating you to a specific project after uh, i do just provide a youtube channel link that is a uh, er shares uh, youtube channel link and his playlist for gen uh, java uh, assignment uh, solutions and dbms assignment solutions i'm sharing this link for you people to use it as a reference not just to copy the code and just paste it somewhere uh you can simply call if you wanna if you are in a mood of copying the assignments because you are not getting any sort of marks for completing the assignments on time right it is for your own practice for your own understanding of each and every individual topic so why am so nextly coming to the java or uh, dbms hands-on question so explaining each and every question is literally a time taking process uh so i am sharing the youtube video link of uh uh play with code uh, youtube channel uh, so he explained uh, means uh, very briefly he had explained one reference uh, question of uh, java hands on how to read the question how to understand it and how to code and uh, next uh, similarly a dbms question also he had explained a reference question how to read it and uh, how to write a query uh, you can just uh, go and refer it uh, it is truly helpful for you and uh, please do support his uh, youtube channel also and uh, I'm, I'm providing the two video youtube video links in the description you can simply get it over there and uh, coming to the notes i have share i said that i will share on pdf also coming to the notes uh, my own handwritten notes for dbms and uh, java i have shared uh, in the description you can simply click over there and download it and use it as a reference uh, and this notes literally helped me uh, while my final preparation and do remember that for each and every FA1 or FA2 or FA3, you have just two attempts. And uh, if you fail to clear, in worst cases, if you do fail to clear uh, the test in first and second attempt uh, also, then for no doubt, there is termination, guys. I can't say, I can't just say that there is no termination because I have seen many people uh, got terminated uh, this year uh, in my batch. And... Uh, it's it's a very old thing in Infosys that termination is there and it will be forever. Uh, we can't just uh, skip it out. Uh, the only way to skip it out is by uh, clearing the test uh, in the first or second attempt uh, itself. So hope uh, this video is literally helpful for you and the information which I have shared. Uh, and uh, do check the description list and type the links I have provided the document p uh, links I have provided whatever. Uh, it, uh, do just do just uh, refer it once. And do have a good contact with your BO because uh, uh, he's going to help you out uh, in a worst conditions like that. So uh, that's it, people. Uh, th thank you for watching the video till end. And uh, if you do feel that this video is informative, then please do like, share and subscribe to my FZ Confusion, Ma FZ Confusion Master YouTube channel. And uh, do share with your friends, whoever do feel you feel that this video is helpful for them. And uh, if you have further any uh, doubts regarding this video or the topic, then you can just ping me in the comment section uh, your question and for sure I will reply to each and every comment and if you do feel to hesitate uh, to, if you do feel hesitate to ask any sort of question uh, in the comment section then you can simply uh, message me in my Instagram profile I am do I do provide my Instagram profile in the description at the same time on the display over here uh, you can simply uh, uh, it's a public account you can simply uh, uh, message me over there uh, for sure I will try to answer your questions uh, answer your queries so that's it people uh, hope for the best uh, and uh, thank you for watching abz confusion masters signing off hello foodies hello foodies welcome to all aromas home baker available to pre order freshly prepared home baked cakes available egg or eggless no preservatives added no premixes used for eggless cakes Reasonable price available. You can order by dropping in its star DM or by calling or texting the mentioned number. Only available at Guntur Andhra Pradesh. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you truly love it, then like it, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't watched my previous videos, go and watch. Until then, FZ Confusion Master signing off.